Yeah, well, you know, we uh, obviously can do a lot of things better, but uh, we'll take the win. And, uh, you know, we knew that they were going to be a team that's going to only get better as they get more comfortable with their surroundings. So, you know, to, to play them first and to win is big for our team. With that being said, I mean, obviously, big crowd out there. No question who they were cheering for after all the tournament is in your hometown. With that being said, how much of an advantage did it provide for your team? I think it's just, uh, you know, it's an emotional boost. Uh, I mean, when you're playing over 80 games and all these teams are, you know, extremely tired, uh, you know, when they get to this tournament. So, you know, we'll take any advantage or every advantage that we can get our hands on. And, uh, you know, great for us to have that crowd behind us. Good start tonight. Where do you see yourself moving forward? Any adjustments that need to be made? Yeah, we're obviously going to make adjustments. Uh, you know, we're going to play a different team tomorrow, and it's, you know, in our mind, it's a must win again. So, uh, you know, we'll just take care of little things. I thought uh, maybe we relaxed on in the third period, which we need to correct. Well, fantastic game. One goal, one assist. Player of the game for the humble Broncos. Tell me, how do you feel? Uh, I feel good. Uh, I think we got a little confidence after that first win to get rolling, but... I mean, our, our goalie played unreal. I think he deserved that player of the game tonight. Well, with that being said, we, we mentioned it was awarded to you, a big one goal and assist game and two points. Uh, how do you feel about your game here tonight and moving forward? I feel good. It's good to get uh, a couple points early and especially the win and uh, carry it into tomorrow night. We want to get that second win tomorrow. With that being said, uh, how nice is it playing in front of you know your fans? And they were loud and they were proud tonight, without a doubt. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, felt great when they're loud and and it's packed in there it was awesome is it an emotional boost for you does it you know does it help is there some sort of an energy that the the bench builds off of oh for sure i mean there's uh slow ice out there and we're sucking wind and then the crowd starts going and that helps with that being said where do you see yourself moving forward here i mean obviously you know it's just day one but uh, how do you focus and regroup for another big challenge tomorrow uh, i think we're just gonna go get something to eat and uh just take her easy tonight and have a little skate tomorrow and then be ready to go tomorrow night. Coach, what you see out there from your team? Uh, you know, we face a very good hockey team in the Humboldt Broncos. They're at home and, uh, you know, I was happy for our game as it went on. I thought we got better and better as, uh, you know, the game went on. And, uh, you know, we were only outshot by two and I think they had four more power play opportunities than us. But uh, give them credit, they capitalized on their chances and we did it. And, uh, you know, to win hockey games, you got to score goals. You know, I asked your captain, it's it's a big country, and you guys had to travel pretty far to come here. He says he wasn't going to make excuses, but with that being said, do you think that game one, maybe a little bit of the tired legs because of the travel? Yeah, travel's tough. Um, you know, our, our, our league finals, we were an eight-hour bus trip back and forth, so, and then we had a long trip to the Canada, another 10-hour trip, and, um, and we had a long, long, long travel day when we got here. Our guys were up at uh, 5 in the morning, jumped on the bus for uh, 6 o'clock. So it was a long day. Is that why we lost? No. But uh, are we going to get better as the tournament goes on? I, I think so. Um, the more we get adjusted here, I think uh, you'll see a better team uh, than you saw tonight. What are some of the adjustments that you're looking to make moving forward, or are there anything in specifics? I know we just got to get our legs going a little bit more. Um, you know, our legs weren't just going as, as fast as we normally do. and. Um, that's what we got to, uh, you know, that's the adjustment we got to make for the next game. I know we're going to face another good hockey team, so we got to get our legs moving. Uh, we knew coming into game one that, uh, you know, Humboldt was going to be a real tough team. You know, this is their, uh, this is their home rink, right? They've been playing in here all year, and, you know, we're just starting to get adjusted now. It was, you know, our last two periods, we, we fought hard. We, you know, we dumped pucks in, we had our legs moving, and, you know, we're getting adjusted right now, and, and I think that's a... It's a good way to start the tournament, playing against the whole team. We know what we're in for, and uh, you know we know the next game that uh, you know we're going to be ready. We're going to come out strong. In terms of ex you know excuses, you guys aren't going to make any. But I mean, th this is a long way to travel for you guys. Do you think that that has anything to do with it? Uh, like you said, you know we're not we're not going to look for any excuses. Um, it, it is a long way, but you know we're not the only team that traveled to get here, right? There's there's four other teams that traveled to get to uh, Humboldt, and so yeah, I mean obviously the time difference, three-hour time difference, and. Uh, you know, the long flights, you know, probably played a little bit of a cause. But, no, we're not looking for excuses at all. We had our legs in the second and third period. We kept up. And, uh, you know, we, we had 28 shots in the last two periods. You know, we were, we were right there. We, you know, we just didn't get the bounces to go in. So, you know, I, I, like you said, we're not looking for excuses. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be ready Monday. With that said, again, captain of the team, what do you say to your guys moving forward? Just game one, certainly a lot more hockey to be played. 
Yeah, you, know, you know, like you said, you know, our, our goal is to make it in the semifinals. When you make it in the semifinals, you know, anything can happen. So, you know, we'll do we'll do what it takes to get to the semifinals and go from there. You know, we really, uh, you know, really got to stay relaxed, you know, stick with our game plan and, uh, you know, come out strong Monday. You know, there's a lot of tournament left. Today's day one and, uh, you know, there's a long way to go. Thank you.